lasers to the minnows. For the first time ever, a cricket game goes global. It has a full calendar, so one minute you're playing the Caribbean, then you're playing the T20 in India, and then you're down for the Big Bash, up for the 100, maybe in Ashes, and then maybe time to start it all over again. The great thing with all these licenses in Korea is it allows the player to really experience each different format that you can have within the sport. You've got your England, Australia, West Indies, New Zealand, but this time round, yes, I get to play as a whole lot of the other nations. Another thing that we've ramped up in Cricket 24 is adding a number of new licensed equipment. So we've got even more bat manufacturers, we've got pads, gloves, helmets. So along with the animations that are also associated with those players, it really does make it feel like it's a real life person that's actually in there at the crease. When you license a, a real cricketer and you get them for real in the game, it makes for a real experience. The thing that sets Cricket 24 apart from all of our previous games and others' previous games is the depth and authenticity. It is the most licensed cricket game ever.